Thank you for buying an Intex metal frame above ground pool. Setting it up is simple and easy. Please follow the instructions shown in this video and in the manual for proper installation and safe usage. Assembly requires two people. No tools are needed. The pool in this video is the 15 foot by 48 inch metal frame pool. Your pool may differ in the number and type of parts depending on its size. When unpacking your pool, open the carton carefully so that you may reuse it to store your pool when it's not in use. Lay out the contents of the carton. Check that you have all the parts listed in your manual. Do not assemble the pool if parts are missing. For replacement parts, please visit our website at www.intexcorp.com. It is important to determine ahead of time where to set up your pool since the pool cannot be moved once it is filled with water. Follow these guidelines. Set up your pool on a completely level surface. Do not set up on mud, sand, or loose soil. Failure to set up the pool on level compact ground may result in the pool being unstable when filled with water. Do not place the pool up against a wall or fence. There should be no object within four feet of the pool that a child could climb onto to get into the pool. The pool should be within reach of a garden hose and a GFCI or RCD electrical outlet. You must ensure that the pool is at least six feet from any electrical outlets. You must be able to plug the pump into an electrical outlet without using an extension cord. Envision the traffic patterns around the pool when determining where to place the filter pump so people will not trip on the electric cord. Many communities require enclosing a pool with a fence or wall. Check for local requirements. Before unrolling the pool, clear the area of any objects that might puncture the liner. The included ground cloth provides additional protection and should cover the entire area under the pool. You are ready to set up the pool. Unroll the pool at your chosen location. Never drag the pool across the ground. You may damage the liner and cause leaks. Make sure the pool is right side up. Let the liner warm in the sun for easier assembly. Locate the pool's filter connection holes and carefully arrange them so they are facing where you will place the filter pump. Double check that the pump's power cord will be within reach of the GFCI or RCD outlet, but not closer than six feet without the use of an extension cord. Lay out all the horizontal beams and T-joints around the pool. Slide the horizontal beams through the sleeves at the top of the liner. Open the bag with the connecting pins and washers and slide the washers onto the pins as shown. Starting at any point, slide one side of a T-joint over a horizontal beam, lining up the holes. Push one of the connecting pins through the hole until it goes all the way through to the bottom of the joint and locks. Slide the other side of the T-joint over the adjacent beam and insert another connector pin in the same manner. Center the T-joint between the sleeves in the liner. Continue to assemble the joints and beams, always working in one direction around the pool checking that the T-joints are centered in the spaces between the sleeves. You will find it easier to slide the T-joint over the last beam if you lift the joint and insert the beam while lowering it back to the ground. Next, arrange the legs around the pool, one leg at each T-joint. With the lock buttons at the top, Slide the legs through the belt loops halfway down the pool sidewall and then inside the restraining rope at the bottom. 
Align the leg's lock buttons with the holes in the T-joints. Depress the buttons and slide the legs into the T-joints until they lock into place. Rotate the legs if necessary. A little water may make it easier to slide the legs through the loops. If your pool features the belt without the belt loops, insert the legs between the belt and the sidewall and then inside the restraining rope. Attach the end caps at the bottom of the legs. Now check your work. All the legs should be inside the belt loops or if your pool doesn't feature the belt loops, inside the belt. The legs should be inside the restraining rope at the bottom. All legs should be absolutely vertical. Check that all the connecting pins are firmly in place and give the pool a good shake to settle all the parts. Recheck that the filter connector holes are facing where you will place the filter pump. Make adjustments if necessary. Locate the drain plug and make sure it is firmly closed with the cap screwed on snugly. Then smooth out the bottom of your pool. To ensure that your pool is level, add just enough water to the pool to cover the bottom of the liner. Check to see how the water spreads across the liner. If the pool is level, it will spread evenly. The pool must be level to avoid safety problems. Do not add any more water to the pool at this time. Locate the strainer and nozzle union assemblies. There are two filter holes in the wall of the pool, a higher one on your left as you face the pool and a lower one on your right. Start with the lower hole on the right and the strainer union. From inside the pool, slide the blue strainer union tube through the filter hole. Repeat the process with the nozzle union and the upper filter hole on the left. From inside the pool, slide the blue nozzle union tube through the filter hole. Your pool includes a cover which should only be used when the pool is not in use. However, it is not a safety cover and will not keep children out of the pool. Children must not play on or under the cover. Please note that two people may be needed to pull the cover over your pool. Congratulations! You've successfully set up your Intex metal frame above ground pool. Please continue to the filter menu on this DVD where you will select the filter pump appropriate for your pool.